In the fall of 1998, I decided it was time to make my dream of swimming the English Channel a reality. I started with shorter swims, one to two hours a day, and quickly got up to three to four hours a day. In the summer of 1999, I did my first batch of cold water training in Lake Mackenzie. Throughout the winter, I went back to pool training, and in the May of 2000, I started training in Lake Mackenzie. The water is 46 degrees Fahrenheit, and there's still some ice on the south shore. June 14, 2000, it was time to commence my final leg of training. It was time to leave for Dover, England, and begin training in the ice-cold Atlantic Ocean. Looks a little closer to 58. Just gonna give you an idea here what I'll go through. And there's a swim bill. It's Saturday today and there's a lot of channel swimmers here and Bill's gonna do four hours today. My arrival in Dover, England signified the end of pool training for me. All my time was spent training here in Dover Harbor trying to acclimatize to the 57 to 60 degree Fahrenheit water. The average person has a lifespan of an hour and a half in water of this temperature. It was brutal having to turn around after feed, standing up in the beach shivering, and have to start swimming again. I used to spend all my time in between feeds trying to think of excuses that Liz, my wife, would accept and let me out of the water early. Unfortunately though, we made a pact. If I tried to cut my training short, she would take my clothes, zip off to the hotel and leave me stranded in my speedos. I would have to finish my day's training anyways. Now? I think my muscles are a little low on glycogen. Actually, I want to get my clothes on first before I that on. At least get a shirt on. So that concludes the four hour swim. My first four hour ocean swim. Do you know what the temperature is, Liz, out there? Did Allison say? About 60, I think. 60? Yeah. But it was very choppy. Oh, it was brutal out there. It was like swimming in a toilet bowl or a washing machine. Take your pick. It was awful. Absolutely awful. Got a bit of a rash under my arm though. Hi. And that concludes today's swim. By now I've spent a month and a half training in Dover Harbor. It was time to test my acclimatization and Oprah Wander swimming skills against others from around the world. The swim itself is 27 kilometers long through water of 18 degrees Celsius, no wetsuit. This was the beginning frontier as I prepare for my final six most difficult weeks of training before I attempt the English Channel. Thank you. 
Bill taking his sixth feed. It's a little too hot. Okay. You've, How much longer you've do you done. Think I got? You've yes. done 16 kilometers, and you have 10 to go. Good. So I'll break nine hours, anyways. Yes. Good job. You're doing good. I'm gonna split the boats here. Yeah. Thanks. approaching the finish line right now. 300 meters to go. Go, Bill, go! Go, 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 go! Go, Bill, go! Go, Bill, go! We have in third place, 11th total, Bill Borger from Canada. He's 25 years old, he's time 8.52. weather. It's raining outside right now and we have some pretty good lightning happening. It's August 13th, 2000 and Bill's just working on his tummy. <laughs> and the newsletter for From the Fish's Mouth. Just talking a little bit about Allison Streeter walking up the beach and grabbing a beer after a swim. I talked about my coach coming and uh, 